Hey guys, I um, just got a uh, battery for the uh, Deus, and uh, this is the old one. And I, I put it in, uh, and it's I just stuck the charger on, so it is charging up. And the only hard part was this little tiny connector. You know, getting that hooked on, and then it's like a little. A little um, square piece you gotta uh, kind of use an exacto knife to cut around it and then uh, lift it off and then uh, unplug the old battery and then put this one in but this little connector is a little bit hard I held the other uh, side of the connector with some pliers and then uh, pushed it in so it wasn't that bad it just took a little while all right Now I replaced the ba the battery in the uh, dais. This is the thing you have to pry off to get it uh, to get to the battery. Can, but it's in there, and uh, the clip is right over here. And then you put this back in to soften it up, <clears throat> and then this goes back on, and you put a put a bead of silicone around the end, edge of it and let it uh, dry for about 24 hours. So, uh, pretty easy actually. <laughs> and only $20.99 $20 for the battery. I got it on eBay. All right guys, here's the old battery that lasted seven years. And uh, I discharged, I put the battery in and then charged it in, uh, so I'm going to see if it comes on. Yep. Yep. It's all set. That's pretty crazy when you can, uh, have a have a detector that uh, you can change the battery and uh, look how tiny that battery is I mean that thing lasted seven years and uh, my friend Mike was using it for about probably about a year almost every day and uh, I found I found a lot of good stuff with this machine some real bucket listers <laughs> all righty hey guys I uh, I got the uh, just looked it up. I got the uh, XP Deus in uh, February 24th, um, 2013. So it's almost seven, seven years old. And the batteries are lasting about three hours before they go dead. But, uh, but anyway, um, I took this out yesterday in uh, my hammered yard and I found this. And... Uh, this was the first thing I found. I thought it was a bullet, but um, I showed it to my neighbor, who's uh, a reenactor and a historian. He and his sister, and um, he thinks that this was uh, given to the soldiers. This thing that weighs over fifty-one grams, so he thinks you could make two bullets. And they would give the soldiers like five of these, and then they could melt them down and make bullets out of them. So, I'm not sure, but <clears throat> this thing was down pretty deep, about nine, 10 inches. And the day is, gave me a good 85 signal on it. And then uh, I dug this up and it's got like this little insert in it. So I'm not sure what it is. So it was like a wreath or something. I'm wondering if it wasn't maybe for a martingale or I don't know, horse tack. And this thing here, I almost threw it away. 
and it's actually heavy brass it's not it's not thin it's like solid and it looks like it was part of an attachment to something got a pretty cool little design on it Yeah, I've got a piece of melted lead. I found this little porcelain button in a hole. And I got a pretty nice little flap button here. Nothing on the back. Um, nothing on the front either. But, uh, that was a pretty surprising find. It's, uh, it was in, I dug four or five nails out of the hole before I got the button. Just about all these things here, nails come out of the hole in my yard. This was another button. This one says uh, London plated on the back. But uh, it's pretty cool. That, one, that button uh, wasn't but about four or five inches deep, but I think it might have been on edge. And that, that's another one I pulled two or three nails out of the hole. All right, this, this was pretty cool. I, this was an area where I'd pounded the heck out of it. And I found a handle down there just like this. Um, it appears to be like pewter with brass plating on it. It's like a teaspoon, but uh, it was it was about 10 or 11 inches deep. And it was a place where I'd been over and over and over and never heard this signal before. Uh, uh, that's pretty cool. All right. Thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe.